Hey there, this is Des of DesireeEast.com and I had a couple of requests to share what my video setup looks like when I'm recording my painting process. So I'm gonna flip my camera around, let's get to it. Okay, so here is my setup. Excuse the mess. I typically work with three cameras when I'm on a Zoom session and leading workshops online. So I have my webcam, which is built in right there. That's the webcam that I use um, when I'm on a Zoom call. I have this camera set up. It's a Logitech camera. And this camera, as you can see, shoots down to record what I am painting. Hello, Owl. And this camera moves around. You can flip it around whichever direction that you want. It's, and this part's rota rotatable. <laughs> Is that a word? But anyway, it's connected and attached to this arm here that you can move around and rotate as you need, okay? And I will link the um, what the products are in the post itself if you are in the Facebook group that I'm in. Uh, so that's the arm camera. This connects to a USB port. So here's the cord and you just plug it in on the side of your computer, your laptop, whatever it is that you're using. So that's camera number two. So camera number one for Zoom. Um, when I want to switch and record what I'm painting, I toggle over on the Zoom app to this camera. And then I have a third camera, number three, um, attached to this arm. So this is another attachment that I have attached, clamped on here to the, my shelf. And this one holds my cell phone. So I will add a time-lapse video and record with my phone in the time-lapse mode if I'm painting something here. So this is for my cell phone. And just to note that this one, this arm also has the ability to attach a cell phone to it too. So there's an attachment that I would add to this part here and you can clamp your cell phone on it as well. Sometimes I'll use a tripod depending on what I'm recording. And um, it may not be a Zoom call, it might be a Zoom call, it might be a video for a workshop that I'm teaching um, and videoing, recording ahead of time. But um, I have this attachment here that clamps on and it has some different ways where you can attach your camera. So again, you can, if you want to, attach this camera, this Logitech camera, screw it off and screw it on here. I also have a DSL R camera, you know, one of those um, fancy cameras that you use for taking pictures. I sometimes record video on that camera and I could attach it to this tripod. So that's that attachment. And at any time I will interchange this camera, this attachment, and that camera or my cell phone and record my videos when I'm um, painting on a canvas. So those are, that's the basics. <laughs> that's the basics. If you have any questions, I can go into more detail about um, how to set it up. But to start, um, that's basically it. That's my basic setup here. I'll go ahead and step back. So I have my webcam for Zoom calls. My arm, this arm that's attached so that I can get a bird's eye view of what I'm painting on my desk. And then I have this attachment here where I'll put my cell phone for time-lapse videos. So I'll record everything all at once. So either on my desk or at the canvas behind me, I will record probably two different angles or views. That way I can add those things and edit them into my videos that I use on YouTube and on my online courses. And of course, um, I have some natural light here. I have a skylight, so I don't have to worry too much about natural light. 
Um, however, I do have a couple of um, lamps that I use in case I need that. So I have this lamp here that you can get your local hardware store. And what I'll do is I'll attach parchment paper very carefully, not touching the bulb. I'll attach a, um, some parchment paper and clamp that onto the lamp itself. That way I can get some filtered light because these lights can be pretty brutal for number one. Um, it could be too bright for your paintings and or for your face if you have light shining on your face and parchment paper is a really wonderful way to um i keep bumping into my stool here is a wonderful way to uh filter that light if you need it okay so that's it that's my setup excuse the mess um i move things around a lot in the studio so you know everything's movable and interchangeable depending on what your needs are i hope that helps if you have any questions let me know in the comments below Bye, have a beautiful day.